The news is finally out. The German government decided to decrease the guaranteed interest rate in private pensions from 2022 onwards. So no wonder the German headlines are full of this topic, trying to scare you with how bad this change is. But what's really up with this new regulation? What does this mean for pensions in Germany? And what does this mean for you if you have a pension already or wanted to get one? Which sounds like a bad idea if you believe these headlines, right? I mean, this headline even says that pensions are dead. Actually, all these headlines are just trying to scare you and make you think, are all German pensions bad now? But as you know us already, we're not trying to scare you, we're trying to prepare you. Don't get me wrong, it's not great that the guaranteed interest rate will be only a quarter of a percent. We'd like to have it much more, don't we? But that's the way the government decided to handle things. And I don't really care to be honest. Because the pension I personally have is not affected at all. And you shouldn't care either. Because if you're smart, this change won't affect you as well. How is that possible? Here's how. Perfinex. Personal Finance for Expats. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new pension video from Perfinex, the number one English speaking and independent financial planner in Germany. My name is Axel and today I want to address the elephant in the room right away. For more than a year now, we've been publishing videos on this YouTube channel telling you that pensions in Germany can be a great investment. Except the German public pension. This one sucks. And these videos are among the most successful videos on our channel. So you guys seem to be very interested in securing your retirement with pensions. Rightfully so. Maybe you got a pension already. Maybe even from us. Was this now? I knew it all along. German pensions suck. Yes, they do. Bye. In all seriousness, my problem with all these headlines that you just saw is that they put all kinds of pensions into the same basket and label them as bad. That might be the way to do it as a journalist who wants to generate clicks, but that's not the way to look at pensions as a professional financial advisor. There are pensions level 1, pensions level 2, pensions level 3, pensions that invest in ETFs and mutual funds, pension with guarantees and a whole lot more. And they're not the same. There is no general pension. Saying that all pensions are bad because regulation changes for some of the pensions is like saying that real estate is a bad investment because there's some rundown shack at the back end of Germany that would indeed be a bad investment. Just needs a little fresh paint, right? Real estate can be a really bad investment that financially ruins you. That's true, but usually it's not. And if you follow the strategies we teach you in our Real Estate in Germany series, real estate will be a great investment. So let's see what is really happening with this new regulation instead of demonizing all pensions that ever existed. When you get a pension for yourself, the pension company you choose to sign with has generally speaking two options what to do with your money. They can either invest your money in ETFs and mutual funds Hopefully right from the start of your pension, you can choose in what kind of ETFs and mutual funds and don't let the pension company choose themselves. This is really important, so pay close attention. Do not let the pension company choose the investments for you. Because if they do a bad job, there's absolutely nothing that you can do except canceling your pension. If you have full control over how your money is invested, you can always change it yourself or get help from somebody who helps you pick the right ETFs and mutual funds. That is much, much better. Believe me on this one. The other option is that the pension company invests your money super secure so they can offer a guaranteed payout in retirement age. The cool thing about German pensions is that you can choose for yourself how much of your money you would like to have invested in ETFs and mutual funds and how much you would like to have as a guarantee. Maybe not with all pension companies, but at least with the good ones. Usually in 10% ranges anywhere from 0 to 100. So you can also choose to have 0% guarantee, 
meaning all your contributions are invested in ETFs and mutual funds. That's how I did it for the pensions I have personally. And that's also why I don't give a about this new regulation. And the really good pension companies will also allow you to change the percentage of guarantee every once in a while. Not every single day, so think a minute or two if you really want the guarantee and if so, how much. But every once in a while, you can increase or decrease your guarantee. So if you are as angry as the journalists about this upcoming change in interest rate, see if your pension company can decrease the amount of guarantee you have in your pension contract. If not, it may be time to switch the pension company. Maybe. As there is no general pension, there cannot be general advice that is right for everybody. If you're wondering what is right for you, feel free to reach out and secure a 30 minute free meeting. Let's find out which option makes the most sense for you. And only if you have a guarantee in your pension, you will be affected by the upcoming change in interest rate next year. Because the German government decides on the mandatory interest rate pension companies have to get with a guaranteed portion of our savings. Please don't ask me why the German government has to decide on interest rates for pension companies. I don't understand it either. But that's apparently the way that it is. Add it to the list of unnecessary things the German government is spending our tax money on. Why is it unnecessary? Well. Let's have a look at the numbers. Here you can see the mandatory interest rate the German government is forcing on pension companies in Germany for their guarantee. So if you would have signed a pension in the year 2000, you would have gotten at least a 3.25% return for your guaranteed portion of your savings. This year 0.9 and next year just 0.25%. That's what everybody is freaking out about for absolutely no reason. Why? German pension companies don't achieve the return the government is forcing on them. They achieve a lot more. Here you can see exactly how much interest rate German pension companies have achieved since the year 2000. The average was 2.13% rate of return, more than twice as much as pension companies are supposed to achieve. And that's just the average. Imagine how much return the really good pension companies made for their clients. I know that some of you are at home thinking now. Lousy 2% rate of return? That's what I make daily with my cryptos and day trading stocks. Well, good for you first of all. You might achieve a higher rate of return because you're willing to take a significantly higher risk. Let's not forget that this 2% here is guaranteed. So if you want to compare the 2% guaranteed return in pensions, at least be fair and compare it with other financial products that are also 100% guaranteed. A German bank account for example. And how high is the interest rate there? 0% if you're lucky. Most of the time negative already with fees and everything else. In other European countries you can get at least up to 1.5% interest rate. All details in this video. And if you have a German bank account with high fees and negative interest rate, check out our best bank account calculator in Germany on our website. So if you are willing to take a higher risk and don't want a guarantee, get a pension with 0% guarantee so all your savings are invested in ETFs and mutual funds. That's what I did for myself and that's also what a lot of clients are doing. Not all clients, some want a little guarantee and that's completely fine, you do you. But maybe keep the guarantee as low as possible to increase the rate of return of your pension as much as possible. Last but not least, I would like to address all the doubters and everybody who thinks my opinion is biased because a part of Perfinex business model is selling pensions. I'm a man of my word. And when I tell you that something is good, that is my honest opinion. And if my honest opinion is that something sucks, I'll also tell you that. We've done that many times here on this channel actually. And money won't change that. No amount of money will change that. We here at Perfinex could sell Bausparvertrag too, but they suck. 
big time. That's why we haven't sold one single Bausparvertrag yet. Because we're not telling you to buy financial products that suck. That would be bad for everybody involved. We want you to financially succeed, not hurt you. So when I say the pensions can still be a good option to secure your retirement next year, I seriously don't think the pensions in Germany are dead just because the mandatory interest rate the government decides on has changed. The only pension that is dead for many decades now is the German public pension. If you like proof, check this video right here and see how much you contribute and how little you will get out of this pyramid scheme. The upcoming change for the private pensions is just the government forcing us to invest, which I believe is a good thing. So if someone from the German government is watching, usually I sh you a lot, but in this case, well done. Heads off to you. But you're the customer, so what do you think about this change in the guaranteed interest rate of German pensions? Let us know in the comments, take care everyone, and don't focus too much on these clickbaity headlines.